Hi, True Troopers. How's everybody doing today? Thought we'd take it outside for this yoga class. I'm Jessica. This is my beautiful friend and neighbor, Yelena. Our mats are six feet apart. Don't worry. And we are going to go through True Flow Express. It'll be super fun and a little bit sweaty. Go ahead and get your mats. We'll get started. Sit down onto your mat as always. Cross your legs one in front of the other. Place your hands on your knees. If you haven't started the playlist yet, go ahead and start the playlist. I posted it on the description. Jessica Ferrett Kergrub is my username on Spotify. You'll find it there with today's date. Now close your eyes, settle into your mat, into your space. Lengthen your spine. Hug your navel into your spine and take a few deep breaths. Letting go of all the tension in your tail. Let a little bit more go. Last one, big inhale. And big exhale, let it all out. Gently blink your eyes open, keep your hands on your knees. And as you inhale, pull your shoulders back, press your chest forward, look up towards the sky for a seated cow pose. And exhale, arch your back, round your shoulders, hug your navel all the way into your spine for a seated cat pose. And again, inhale, open up, look up. And exhale, round. And inhale, open. And exhale, round. One more time, inhale, open up, shoulders back, gaze up, biggest stretch of your spine. And exhale, round. Full cat pose, as deep as you can. Come back to your neutral spine. Take your hands onto your mat, bring your knees underneath you for a tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Spread your fingers wide. Tuck your toes and inhale, lift your knees off your mat. Keep your gaze five inches in front of you. Hug your navel in tight. Keep your hips square to your mat. Shoulders roll down your back. Ribs in and breathe. Deep breaths in and out through your nose. Now on your inhale, tap your right leg back to the back of your mat. Exhale, bring it forward, connect your knees. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Last one, inhale back, exhale forward. Left leg, inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward, inhale, and exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale together. Step your feet all the way back, five deep breaths in your high plank. Pull your hips forward slightly, tuck your hips under, keep your gaze forward, your shoulders down your back, belly tight. Three more breaths, long yogi breaths, big inhale, and big exhale out. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, big inhale, and exhale out. Press yourself all the way back to your downward facing dog, paddle up your feet. Nice, everybody. Keep your knees slightly bent on your first downward dog. Spread your fingers wide, find stillness in your dog. Press your hips as high to the sky behind. Firmly plant your fingertips down. Make your fingertips turn white. You press so hard. And slightly turn your hands out towards the outside of your mat without moving your hands. Roll your shoulders down your back more. Belly tight, hips back. Internally rotate your inner thighs. Open up your low back. And on your inhale, lift your heels. Roll forward, high plank. Exhale, back, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down. One more, inhale, high plank. Hips come forward first. Roll a little bit over your fingertips so your shoulders and wrists line up. Belly tight, lower all the way down to your mats. Nice and slow, drop your knees first if you need to. And inhale for a cobra, shoulders back, open your chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. 
Last one, we hold. Inhale, lift up. Shoulders back, deep breaths. Press the tops of your feet down. Engage your leg muscles. Draw length through your side body. Inhale, one last inhale. And exhale, your toes roll over, down your face and drop. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, press your heels down. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mats. And inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, keep your knees soft, shoulders in line with your back. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, flat back, belly tight. Exhale, lower, root down through your feet and inhale to bring your arms out to the side and all the way up for a tall mountain pose. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes again, everyone. Gaze to your fingertips. Set an intention for your class today. What's your goal for your yoga? Maybe it's physical. Maybe it's mental. Maybe for all of us, it's a little bit of both. And we'll start to flow, everyone. Have fun. Inhale, take your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Inhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back. Drop your right knee. Place your hands on your left knee. Drive your left knee forward. Pull your belly in. Lengthen your spine. Turn your gaze up. Maybe back if you're ready for a back bend. And inhale, back to center. Hands either side. Your left foot, tuck your right toes. Left foot back to your right and lower all the way down to your mat. On your inhale, lift up, head, neck, chest, feet, legs, locust. Exhale, lower. Inhale, everything up. Exhale, lower, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Send your right leg up. Step your right foot forward, wrap your left knee, hands to your right knee, press your knee forward. Lengthen again, inhale, and exhale, press your knee all the way towards the front of your mat, pull your hips squared, left and forward, right hip back. Hands plant either side, your left foot, tuck your left toes. Left foot steps up to your right, lift halfway, and fold. Root down, rise up, touch your palms, and exhale, fold forward, left side. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot to the back. Drop your left knee, cross your thumbs, reach your arms up. Keep your biceps by your ears, lengthen through your spine, and go back. Look back, look up to the ceiling, look up to the sky if you're outside like us. Reach for the back, and inhale back to center. Frame your right foot, tuck your toes, send your right foot back to your left, and lower all the way down to your mats. Inhale, locust. Exhale, lower. Inhale, locust. Exhale, lower, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, left leg up. Step your left foot between your hands, drop your right knee. Cross your thumbs the opposite way. Arms up, lengthen, inhale, and look back. Belly tight, ribs in. Inhale back to center. Bring your left foot, tuck your right toes. Right foot to your left, lift halfway and fold. Soft knees, reach your arms all the way up, touch your palms. And exhale, fold forward, sun salutation A. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, walk your feet to the back of your mat and lower all the way down to your mat for a cobra. Inhale, pull your shoulders back, gaze forward. Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Five deep breaths in your downward dog. Keep your knees soft. If your hamstrings feel tight, if you're loose in your hamstrings, go for it. Press your heels down, straighten out through your legs, engage your leg muscles more, send your hips all the way back behind you. Belly in, stretch your armpits. Everyone inhale, lift your heels. And exhale, walk or float your feet to the top of your mats, lift halfway and fold. One more, root down, rise up, touch your palms, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, walk or float to the back of your mat. If you float, land with chaturanga arms. Inhale, lift your gaze up. Exhale, tuck your toes, roll over your toes, downward dog. Three deep breaths in your downward dog. Lengthen your spine. Turn your gaze towards your calves. If you're stretching more, open more, go ahead and lift your gaze up in between your inner thighs or all the way up towards your belly button. Inhale, lift your heels. And exhale, walk or float your feet to your hands, lift halfway and fold. 
drop your hips. Reach your arms up, chair pose. Pull your belly and lengthen your spine down. Touch the sky with your arms. Keep your arms and ears side by side, belly tight, sit deeper. One more breath, inhale. Touch your palms, gaze up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, walk or float to low side of your push-up. Up dog, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog, extend your right leg up. Bend your knees, stack your hips. With stacked hips, roll your ankle around three times and reverse direction. Now roll your hip, your whole entire hip, big roll. And reverse the direction. Nice, everybody. Come up back to three legged dog. Point your toes. Inhale, lift your leg up high. And exhale, bring your right knee to your right tricep. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to your left tricep, cross underneath you. Inhale, send it back. And exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted, rise up, press the bunch. Square your hips on your mat. Round into your right foot, all four corners, root down to your mat. Keep your back leg straight, your heel over your toes. Belly tight, draw your left hip forward. Square your hips under your shoulders and find more depth in your press bunch, one more inch lower. Touch your palms, gaze up, inhale. Exhale, hands down, right foot to your left, low side of your push-up, up dog cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog, left leg up right away. Bend your knees, stack your hips, and roll your ankle three times one direction, three times the other. Now your whole entire leg, roll your hip around in your hip socket, reverse direction. Square your hips to your mat. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, knee to your nose. Plant your foot between your hands and rise up again for your crescent lunge on the other side. Find your depth right away. Draw your right hip forward, left hip back, belly and ribs in. Shoulders relax away from your ears. Pull your front ribs down. Last breath, a little bit more depth. Touch your palms, gaze up, inhale. And exhale, fold. Left foot back to your right. Low side of your push-up. Up dog cobra and downward facing dog. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. One more big inhale and exhale out. Everybody take your hands together, thumbs touch center of your mat. Inhale, lift your heels, and exhale, walk or float your feet outside your hands. Bring your hands to your heart center, press your elbows to your knees, Malasana. Lift your chest. Pull your belly in tight, lift up on your pelvic floor. Stretch your hips apart, press your elbows firmly into your knees. Those are my friends out there who like to fly and would like to move into crow pose. Take your hands down onto your mat. Heel toe your feet together so your toes touch. Take your knees onto your triceps. Engage your core. Keep your gaze five inches in front of you. Lift your feet off of your mat. Press firmly into the pads of your feet. Float your feet off. Lift your feet all the way up towards your bum. Straighten your arms more. One more inhale. And exhale, walk or float your feet to the back of your mat, lower down to low side of your push-up. Up dog cobra and downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in and big breath out. Listen close everyone. When you inhale, lift your heels. When you exhale, jump up, tap your feet. Again, inhale, lift your heels, exhale, tap your feet. Lift your heels, inhale, exhale, tap your feet. One more this time, land with your feet outside your hands. Inhale, lift your heels, exhale, plant your feet outside your hands. Hands to your heart center, Malasana. Stretch your inner thighs apart, your hips apart. Press firmly into your knees. Lengthen your spine. And if you'd like to move into crow again, go for it. Plant your hands. 
even if you're not moving into growth, work your core. When you come down and prep for your core, for your crow, just like this, you engage your stomach muscles just a little bit more. Those of you in crow, you've got one more breath. Inhale, hold it, and exhale. Walk or float to low side of your push-up. Up dog, cobra, and downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, walk or float your feet to your hands. Lift halfway, and hold. Drop your hips, reach your arms up, chair pose. In your chair, touch your palms overhead, gaze up, inhale, and exhale, left elbow, right knee, chair pose twist. Lower your hips down lower than your heart. Bring your hands into center, look up, inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, twist back. Now bring your gaze down to your right big toe, inhale, on your exhale, step your left foot to the back of your mat, or a crescent lunge twist if you fall out like me, right back into it. Pull your stomach off your spine, off your thigh, straighten your left leg, look up. Bring your left hand down to your mat, reach your right arm up. Maybe onto your tips of your fingers if the ground's far away. Inhale and exhale, turn to the outside of your left foot. Step your right foot on top of your left foot to the back of your mat for side plank. If you need to modify, Bring your right foot in front of your left, or take your left knee down onto your mat, either one. Otherwise, stay in your side plank. Everyone, reach your arm over your right ear, stretch your fingertips forward. Lift your right leg up, point your toes. Inhale long, exhale crunch, elbow to knee. Inhale long, exhale crunch, nice feeling. Inhale long, exhale crunch, two more. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Take your right foot back to the back of your mat. Step your right foot up to the top of your mat, arms up for your crescent lunge. Palms together, bring your hands to your heart. Ground into your right foot, step your left foot to meet your right, stay in your chair, lengthen your spine. And exhale, twist, left elbow, right knee again. Check your knees, make sure your knees are in one straight line to keep your hips squared. Make the twist come from your waist. Now, if you would like to add an arm balance, take your hands down onto the side of your mat. Ground your fingers down. Make a shelf with your triceps. Right knee on your left tricep, right hip on your left tricep. Push the ground away with your hands. Lift your feet up and engage your core. Side crow. To go even further, straighten your legs. Straighten your left leg back and your right leg forward. Open up. One more breath. Everybody, come on back. Chair twist, we meet. And fold forward. Paddle your sasana, paddle out your feet. A little active recovery, bend your knees, grab onto your two big toes, turn your palms in. Lengthen your spine forward, inhale. And exhale, pull your elbows out, roll over your legs. Reach the crown of your head down, relax your spine. Press your hips up. Shoulders away from your mat. One more breath. Exhale, release your hands. Bring your feet back together. Drop your hips. Arms up to your chair pose. Now we go to the left. Touch your palms overhead. Gaze up to inhale. And exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow, left knee. Square your knees. Right knee in line with your left. Maybe you need to pull your right hip back and your left hip forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, look back, twist. Now look down, ground into your left foot, inhale. And exhale, step your right foot to the back of your mat for your crescent lunge twist. Continue to look over your left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale, open out, right hand down inside your left foot, left arm up, stretch through your shoulders. Press your right hand all the way down, inhale, lengthen again, and exhale, transition to side plank, turn to the outside of your right foot, set your left foot back. If you need your hand on your hip, place your hand on your hip. Keep your right palm underneath your shoulder, modify as necessary. Reach your left arm over your left ear, inhale, and exhale, crunch. Inhale long. Exhale, crunch. 
Inhale long. Exhale, crunch. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Extend your left leg back, left arm forward. Step your left foot to the top of your mat and reach up. Crunch, crunch. Touch your palms and bring your hands to your heart center. Step your right foot up to your left chair pose, lengthen your spine, and exhale. Twist right elbow, left knee. Again, you have the chance to do your side crawl on the other side. Lower your hips down more. Take your hands down onto the side of your mat. Firmly plant. Make your shelf. I'm not as good on this side as the other side. Let me give it a try so you can see it. Belly tight. Lift your feet off the floor. And extend. And I fall. Extend your right leg back, your left leg forward. And everybody come on back and fold forward. Slide your hands underneath your feet. Tuck your toes to your wrist. Keep your knees bent as much as you need to. Lengthen your spine and exhale forward. Bring your stomach a little bit closer to your thighs. Belly tight. And then reach your hands from underneath your feet. Heel toe your feet back together. Drop. Arms up. Chair pose. Touch your palms. Gaze up. Inhale. And exhale. Pull forward. Inhale to half lift. Plant your hands. Walk or float to low side of your push up. Up dog cobra. And exhale. Roll over your toes. Downward dog. Right leg up right away. Exhale. Right knee. Right tricep. Inhale. Right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale up. Right knee to your nose. Step your foot between your hands and rise up for your crescent lunge again. Stretch tall, reach up. Lengthen. Touch your palms. Lengthen up more. And exhale, bring your arms by your sides for your runner's lunge. Keep your knee and ankle in line on the right. All four corners of your feet down. Back leg straight. Stretch your fingers back behind you. Activate your triceps. Belly in tight. Now reach your arms up by your ears. Frame your ears with your arms. Ground into your right foot. Inhale. And exhale. Lift your back leg up. Warrior three. Make your body look like a T from the side. Stretch from your fingertips to your toes. Activate every single leg muscle. Bring your hands to your heart center. Square your left hip down towards the mat more. Pull your belly in tighter. Soften your right knee. And inhale, bring your left leg through to the front of your mat. Hover your left thigh. Everyone, take your hands to your hips. Listen close, you may need to watch. Turn your left knee up towards the ceiling. Imagine making a figure four with your leg. We're not going there yet. Now take your left leg out to the left. Turn your left knee in and stretch your leg back behind you so you make a circle. Connect your knees together. Bring your knee forward. External rotation of your hip. Turn your left knee down. Send your leg out. Internal rotation. Point your left knee down. Stretch it back. Connect your knees. One more time. Bring your leg forward. Turn your left knee up. Continue to ground into your right foot. Knee back. Internal rotation. And back. Now step your left foot all the way back to the back of your mat. Reach your arms up again for crescent lunge. Hips forward, hips in line with your shoulders. Touch your palms, gaze up, inhale, and exhale, reach forward for your warrior three. Your right glute should be burning right now. Your right leg should feel tired. Bring your hands into your heart center. Soften your right knee and bring your left leg forward again. Now, figure four. Sit your hips back. Flex your toes. Sit as low as you can. Deep, deep, deep. If you'd like to take your hands down onto your mat for support, you can do so. Otherwise, challenge your balance. Stay in your balance. Stretch your left glute deep. One more inhale. On your exhale, straighten your right leg. Send your left leg up towards the ceiling, towards the sky for ceiling splits. Nice, everybody. Point your toes. Stretch further. Keep your legs straight, your hips squared. Walk your hands back by your right foot. 
Inhale. And exhale, step your left foot back. Walk your right foot to the top right corner of your mat. Take your hands inside your right foot. Lengthen your spine forward for a dragon lunge. Turn your right toes out. Drop your left knee down. Reach your right arm up around and back. Bend your left knee. Grab for the outside of your left foot. Open up your shoulder. Externally, rotate your right shoulder. Kick as hard as you can. Stretch your quad. And release. You'll toe your right foot back to the center of your mat. Straighten your right leg. Flex your toes. Half splits. If you'd like to move into full splits, go ahead. Stretch your feet front to back on your mats. If we had Maddie out here, she could do it for us. I'm almost there. A little bit deeper, everybody. Those of you in your half splits, gaze beyond your toes. Press your triceps back. One more breath. Gently plant your right foot on your mat. Tuck your back toes. Bring your right foot to your left. Keep your right leg lifted. Lower to hover. Up dog cobra. Feet come together. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg up right away. We've got the other side to do. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step your foot between your hands and rise up from press lunge. Sit deep. Begin to squeeze your left glute tight. Keep it strong. Touch your palms overhead. Ground into your left foot. And on your inhale, lift your right leg up behind you. Warrior three. Separate your hands if you need to. If this bothers your shoulders, square your hips. If you fall out, come right back in. Everyone, hands to your heart center. Soften your left knee and bring your right leg forward. We're making a circle again with your right leg. Externally rotate. Turn your right foot up towards the ceiling. Reach your right leg out. And then internally rotate your right knee. Send your leg back. Connect your knees together. Inhale, leg forward. You can take your hands onto your hips. Externally rotate. Draw your right leg out and back. Knees together. One more time. Right leg forward. Rotate. Bring your leg out. Internally rotate. Send your leg back. Knees together. Hold. And step your right foot all the way back. Arms up. Press and lunge. Touch the ceiling. Palms together, gaze up, inhale, and exhale, warrior three again. Point your toes, reach your arms forward. Belly in tight, ribs in, belly in, square your hips. Hands to your heart. Your leg comes forward, soften your left knee, bring your right leg forward. Now, figure four, bring your right ankle to your left knee. Sit your hips deep into your chin. Flex your right toes, belly tight. Balance stability, take your hands down. Stretch your right glute as much as you can, work it out. One more inhale. And exhale, hands down. Reach your right leg all the way up through your squeeze. Almost done with balance work on this side. Walk your hands back to your left foot, lengthen your spine more. Bring your stomach closer to your thigh. Inhale, everybody together. And exhale, step your right foot all the way back, left hand. Inside your left foot, left foot out to the left. Lengthen your spine forward, stretch your left inner thigh, your right hand flexes. And drop your right knee down, turn your left toes out. Bend your right knee, reach your left arm up and around your back. Take your foot into your hand, hand into your foot. And release. Walk your left leg back to the center. Half splits or full splits. I'm going to show you half splits on this side. Flex your toes and half splits. Full splits, go ahead. Work into your full splits. Lengthen your spine forward. Pull your shoulders away from your ears on your half splits. Flex your toes. Drive your right hip forward, your left hip back. This will all get you more stretched down your left hamstring. Belly tight. Now isometrically press your triceps back behind you. Press your chest forward. Keep your neck and spine in line. 
and everyone plant your left foot down. Tuck your right toes, plant your hands, send your left leg back, three-legged dog, and high plank, lower to hover. Up dog cobra, and exhale to your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg out, and exhale, right knee outside your right wrist. Walk your left leg back. Go ahead and walk your hands forward. Relax into your half pigeon. Let your chest fall to your mat. Let your head fall to your mat. Stretch your right glute just a little bit more. Hopefully you're getting out and at least walking. So this glute stretch should feel really good on you. And walk your hands back, quick half pigeon. Stay in this position. Bend your back leg. Reach your left hand back. Grab for the outside of your left foot. Then stretch. Look up. If you'd like to take it deeper, take your toes inside your elbow crease and your right arm up. If I can find today for your mermaid. Look up towards the ceiling. Kick as hard as you can. And release. Right hand down. Tuck your left toes. Lift your left knee up, send your right leg all the way back behind you for a three-legged dog. Bend your knees, stack your hips, and flip your dog. Plant both feet. If you'd like to extend your right leg long, go for it. Reach your arms forward, touch the wall in front of you. Inhale, and exhale, flip back over to your three-legged dog. Bring your right knee to your left tricep on your exhale. Extend your right leg long, lift your left arm up. Call the triangle. Use your core and keep your right leg lifted. Inhale and exhale, left hand down, right leg back up to feel your butt. On your exhale, come forward, lower to hover. Up dog cobra and downward facing dog. Left leg up. Left knee outside your left wrist, right ankle to your left ankle to your right wrist. Wind your hands forward. Remember to keep your hips squared to your mat and your right leg back. You can use blocks to support you. Place the block under your right hip. If you feel a little patty wampus, then press your hip down onto your block. Or support your left glute if you need to. Your hips really high off the mat. And everybody walk your hands back. Mermaid pose, bend your right knee, reach your right hand back, put your foot into your hand, or bring your toes into your elbow crease. Left arm up. Even if you are not binding, look up, add some more back bend. Open your heart, and release left hand down, release your foot. Tuck your toes, send your left leg high for your three legged dog. Bend your knees, stack your hips, and flip your dog, reach your left arm forward, one more inhale, and exhale, flip back over your three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Extend your leg out to fall in triangle. You can step your foot down onto your mat as well. Use your core, work to lift your leg up, reach the ceiling, lift your hips. And exhale, right hand down, left leg up to your three-legged dog. Cat tilt forward, high plank. Lower to hover, up dog cobra, and down facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, walk or float your feet through your hands. Sit down onto your sits bones where you can. If your feet are far away, grab your ankles, grab your thighs, keep the back straight, and fold. My nephew calls this pose a sandwich. So make yourself into a sandwich. Front body on your lower body, top body on your bottom body, rather. Inhale to lengthen your spine, last breath. Exhale, fold just a little bit more. And release. Slide your knees tabletop, bend your knees, plant your feet. If the soles of your feet are off your mat, lift your hips higher than your heart. Lift them. And exhale to lower all the way back down. 
Send your left leg out to the left, your right foot inside your left leg. Reach your left arm along the inside of your left leg. And your right arm overhead, side body stretch. Pull your left, left rib cage forward, your right rib cage back. And reach your right hand up, gate pose. Left arm up, reach behind you. And come on back down, other side. Left foot in, right leg out. Right arm along your right leg. Left arm up and over. Square your shoulders with each other. Keep your ribs open, your chest open. And inhale to lift up. Exhale, gate pose. And make your way back down. Everybody separate your feet. As far apart as you can. Tilt your hips forward. And walk your hands toward the front of you. Flex your toes. Work to get your chest on your mat. If you're far away, that's okay. Just go as deep as you can. Keep your spine and neck in line. You keep a flat back and your shoulders together. Keep your toes flexed. Your calves rooted to the mat. For a deeper stretch on your inner thighs. <laughs> One more breath. And make your way back up. Bring your knees back together. Shake out your legs. Bend your knees. Lift your feet off your mat. Arms to your sides for both toes. Pull your belly in tight. Inhale, lower to low. Bow. And exhale to high. Inhale, low. Exhale, high. Inhale, low. Exhale, high. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Now hold for three. Deep breaths. Shoulders back. One more. And lower all the way down onto your mat. Shake out your body. Bring your knees into your chest. Keep that shoulder stand left. If you prefer candlestick, skip shoulder stand. Just take your legs up for inversion and lay like this into your posture. Shoulder stand, grab behind your thighs. Roll three times, front to back on your mats. On your third time, take your toes all the way behind you for plow pose. Oh, I'm gonna fall off of my deck, so I'm gonna go the other way. All right, toes back. Press your hands down. Support your low back with your hands. Extend one leg up, and then the other. Use your core to lift your leg up. Stack your toes, ankle, knees, shoulders, everything stacks. If you'd like to move into a bound shoulder stand, bound loaded shoulder stand, take your right toes to your left hip crease and your left toes ah, to your right hip crease. Let's go up, just come right back in. Now I can't lift myself back up. Let's try that again. Toes overhead, legs up. If you got it, go for it. Everybody else, toes back behind your head for flop. Frame your ears with your knees. your hands on your mat, point your toes and roll down one vertebra at a time, all the way down onto your mats. Back to my back. Counter with the fish pose. Pull your shoulders back, press your chest up, press the back of your head down to your mat. Flying fish, take your legs up, bring your hands forward. And everyone lower back down. Take your knees into your chest, arms out to a T. And turn your knees over to the right, knees to the left. Perhaps extend your legs long. Press your shoulders down into your mat. 
And on your inhale, bring your knees into your chest. Other side. Send your legs long. Look to the right. And bring your knees back into your chest. Extend your legs along onto your mat. Reach your arms. Shavasana. Let your body melt down into your mat. And feel yourself completely release all thoughts, all movements. Practice letting go. Practice yourself. I'll leave you guys in Shavasana to exit our class. Thank you so much for coming and joining us today for this True Flow Express class. We hope you are staying safe and happy and busy. Keep up the good work. We love you all and miss you. Namaste.